pixel art games if you love 2d games if you love jrpg games there's a very great chance you're gonna love pixel art games because they are pixel art games are very very cool to play very beautiful to watch hey what's up youtube it's Quad ranger today i'm gonna show you top 10 ps4 pixel art games don't forget this list is based on my personal opinion if you know other pixel art game please tell me that in the comment let's go number 10 the count lucanor the count lucanor is an old inspiration game developed by power decay um so the story of that game is very much a setup as a fairy tale but deliberately arcing back to their general old, old and dark roots a young boy named Ant and has just turned 10 but it's him he and his mother are too poor to celebrate his birthday so he's gonna go out so he decides to leave the you know, his home to search uh, for treasure and adventure and yeah you're gonna find you're gonna find the castle of the count you can know so that game is a very very strange game the story of that game is a very it's very deep very good story so you can find that game and say well, i don't think the physical copy was never released America, you can buy at eBay or stuff like that. So yeah, number ten, the kind of looking on. Number 9, Team Blue Weird Park. That game is a point and click adventure game developed by Ron Gilbert and Gary Rednick. So, the story you are an FBI agent, you're gonna have to investigate some murder, you're gonna have a lot of people, you're gonna have to talk a lot to talk to a lot of people. Um, that game got some, what can I say, some soft part, fun on it. A little bit, I can say that, but it's a pixel art game, so it's up to you. It's neat to know. Earlier this evening, we found a body down by the bridge. I don't remember calling the Federinos. Was the money deposited into my account like we agreed? I think it's time we came clean and told the truth about why we're in Thimbleweed Park. You first. What do you know about the Pillow Factory fire? Whoa, now! Are the feds uh, looking into this case? No, he's just curious. He's a Pillow Factory fire buff. He's got a CompuServe chat room and everything. I better get ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed idiots. I hope your old diner gets hit by a meteor. Yo, old lady! You up the you Come on! Uncle Chuck wants me to program his factory computers, but I just want to design games. You are out of my will! You're giving up over 10 million dollars! That's 20 million in 2017 dollars! It's me, Dolores. I'm a ghost. I want to give you a hug and say I'm sorry. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. I need to get into that factory. This is my last chance. I'm not gonna blow it. I owe it to him to find out what happened. I'll never get to finish that delicious sandwich. Holy... This can't be... Number 8. Moonlighter. Moonlighter is an action RPG with full like elements following the everyday's routines of Will. Will is a shopkeeper and adventurer who wants to be a hero, 
So that boy, um, that um, we're gonna explore a lot of dungeons. That game got some loot on it. You have to gonna when you you gonna fight with style stuff like that. So the graphic is pixel art. So no, but in effect, and the I think that game look like a little bit gameplay. I don't know a little bit just like Hyper Light Drifter. Yeah. So it's up to you. Seven children of mortar in that game you are a family the Bergson family and you're gonna like to be a hero because there's a big mountain you got the monster on it so you're gonna you're gonna do some stuff on that mountain killing monsters stuff like that so the graphic pixel art so yeah your family what runs in their blood is a distinct taste for adventure Number six, Celeste. That game is a platforming video game. We all know about Celeste. I don't have much to say about it. You know, you control a girl named Madeline, and then you have to avoid deadly obstacles. You got to, you're gonna go up to a mountain, stuff like that. Middle air, middle air. It's a very fun game. It's a very, very beautiful, very nice. And yeah. Five Hyperlite Drifter. That game is just wow. Um, it's just wow. So you got a sword. That's what got some power on it, some energy on it, and it's hard to explain that game. You have to play it, to play it by yourself to feel the experience about that game. And let me tell you something. If you never play, if you don't, like, if you don't like kind of game, trust me, you miss something in video game. Because this game, guys, this game is very nice, very um, beautiful, graphic, pixel art. And the gameplay, it's a little bit like the, the Legend of Zelda, the old school Zelda, you know? So yeah, very good game.
four champs. You're a young soldier and then you get trapped in the mountain named Cortas and then you're gonna have to investigate, you're gonna have to see something um, like some paranormal activity. So it's a very beautiful um, pizza art game. It's not really yet, the release date is for the next week, so I have to be on the list. Yeah. Number three, we got Dead Cells, a roguelike Metroidvania star pixel art game. Just like I said, it's very the graphic of that game is nice, beautiful. Um, you got armor, you got sword, weapons, so you got two different creatures, dungeons, stuff like that. So I don't know, it's up to you. Two, we got Death Gambit, but for this game we gotta we're gonna have to wait a, li a, a, a little bit because the release date is for the is for August. But just like I said, you see the graphic of that game, right? Um, that game is a 2D platformer with um, RPG element on it. You see the graphic, pixel art, very beautiful. Yeah, if you don't like pixel art game, trust me, you miss some you miss something in video games. Trust me. And the graphic, it looks good. I think this guy is gonna be good too. So, yeah. Finally, number one, we got Blasphemous. But for this game, we're gonna have to wait more longer because the release date is 2019. But look, that game is gorgeous. The graphic of that game is gorgeous. So I have to put it on the list. And you know, um, that game is a 2D platformer with hack and slash on it, um, core monsters, giant monsters. I don't know. We don't. I don't know, but the graphic of that game is stunning, it's gorgeous. So, I have to put it on the list for you. So, 2019, yes, we know about the release date, so we are gonna have to wait. But I can see, I can, I feel like it's gonna be, gonna be very, the story, I don't know, the gameplay, etc. gonna be good at this game, because as I, as I see the graphic, wow. So, we are waiting. As a bonus, I give you Octopath Traveler, a Nintendo Switch, so a game exclusive, but if you have a Nintendo Switch, you're gonna explore that game, but I have to put, I put that game on the list because it's made by, it's developed by Square Enix, 
most of the we time Square Enix game always on every um, console like you PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo so that's why I play on this maybe Snow Lady is going to be on the PlayStation 4 but and the graphic of that game also looks stunning the pixel art of that game the graphic is very 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 nice so the gameplay look like the, no looks like the Final one Fantasy one Final Fantasy 6 um, I, I don't know after put that game the graphic stunning gorgeous pixel art so I hope maybe I think Snow Lady there's gonna be on the position for I think that and you can enjoy yeah thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video player. guys please Prepare hit the like button you know it's gonna help me a lot and if you don't want to miss the next video please subscribe see you next time each traveler has his or her own distinct abilities these can be divided into path actions and talents First, let's look at path actions, which provide a variety of ways for your travelers to interact with the people around them. Challenge townspeople to battle, acquire items from them, lead them to new destinations, learn their untold secrets, and more. For example, Ophelia can guide townspeople and take them along on her journey while Hanek can sick her companion beasts on people and provoke them into doing battle. Next, we have talents, character-based abilities that will serve you on the battlefield and in your travels. For example, Therion can unlock otherwise unopenable treasure chests. Cyrus can suss out one of your foe's weaknesses at the start of each battle. An Elfin can mix various ingredients to concoct potions and hazardous substances. With path actions and talents, a wide range of options are at your disposal. Which characters will you take along on your journey? Just imagine the possibilities. Now, let's explore the strategies available in battle. At first glance, this might seem like your typical turn-based battle system, but let's take a closer look. Exploit your foe's weaknesses to shatter their defenses. This is the break system. Break your foes, and they'll be incapacitated for a period of time. Your chance to strike. That's when you'll want to make use of the boost system. Spend the boost points you accrue with each turn to augment the strength or effectiveness of your actions and devastate your foes. Next, let's explore the job system. In addition to each protagonist's starting job, you'll have the opportunity to take on an additional secondary job. Doing so will allow you to equip new weapons and use new skills, opening up new strategies in battle. Character battle sprites will also change to match their new professions, allowing you to customize the look of your party to your heart's desire. Furthermore, abilities can be learned in the order of your preference. Do you want to start from basic, low-cost abilities that you can use often? Or would you prefer to take a chance with high-cost abilities that pack a punch? From jobs to abilities, you can build a party to match your preferred playstyle. Who will you take on your journey? By what means will you overcome the challenges set before you? How will your characters grow and rise to tackle the formidable foes that stand in their way? In Octopath Traveler, every choice is yours to make.